Well guys, it's Sunday. Didn't get this paint this weekend. It's just been too windy. And then it was cloudy a lot yesterday and so I had to cut hay today. So I just went ahead and put the top back on it. Got my bolt back in my uh, feeder arm. Got it all ready to go. The only thing I got left now is to uh, put these hay stops in. Went the other day I got some stainless steel uh, hardware, bolts, nuts, and washers. And then I got hay stops. And the reason I bought stainless steel was because the last time when I took the, the old ones off, uh, they were so hard to get off, the heads was torn up on them. So I figured stainless ain't going to corrode as bad as, as the mother ones did and if I ever have to take them off or anybody else ever has to take them off they don't have near as much trouble. So I also got this piece put in. This was the, the bottom piece on the floor. I got my floor part finished and got it primed. It didn't turn out too bad. There's a few little pinholes. That metal was so thin that I was I did a lot of burning and on this one had a little bit of rust through so I ended up welding it up, that's the bottom side, ended up burning bigger holes than what it had. But nonetheless it's in and it's a lot better shape than that, that piece that was up on top is and hopefully it's going to work good. So I guess I'll show you a little bit on as far as putting this piece here on. There's a little trick to this. <clears throat> you want to pull this piece up. Install. Oh, that don't look good. Well, I'm going to have to adjust on it. Yesterday it worked fine, but today it's a little bit loose. But anyway, you can install that. And I just got it halfway, so there's plenty of adjustment left. Get it where it's fairly tight and then run it through and make sure when it gets through tying this thing here kicks back and falls back down. That ain't good. Good thing I checked that before we started. Got everything greased up and ready to go. Hopefully Wednesday we'll be in the hayfield bailing with this thing. Anyway, I'll adjust that here and get it. You got to adjust both sides because you want it straight. And you, you can't really adjust it good with that with it against it. You got to have some tension on it. And anyway, these hay stops. Always want to make sure we install them with the bevel pointing towards the hay coming out, so it runs and then it kind of locks behind it. You install it this way. Uh, it's not going to feed right, so I always want to do it this way. Other than that, bolting it up, there ain't nothing to it. Well, I'm going to go adjust this thing and see how it works. <clears throat> well, I went to adjust this thing and I realized that the knotter was tripped on it. The reason it was loose, uh, see I still got it halfway, like it was, just like it was. With the knotter being tripped, this was on this cam here and it was actually pushing it back the whole rod would come back so now you know, it's got good tension and as it feeds it comes back and it trips the knotter when it trips this feeder this arm goes all the way down and hits on that and that causes it to tie it grabs this thing here grabs Oh, you can see this little finger here grabs it and that's what makes everything turn over so put it back down I won't be tripping <laughs> I thought it worked yesterday <laughs> so anyway we'll get these uh, hay stops on and go from there well guys got these stops on didn't take too long. 
pretty easy. Other than getting your hand down in there. Get to them. You got a place for one mole on each side. Uh, right there. Where that will sit. There's the front ones and the back ones will sit way back here in about middle ways. I've seen some that had one set in front and one set in back. We'll see how these go. If it don't do like I want to, I might move a set back here in the back and try it. I also went ahead and put this uh, guard back on. It's, it's about rest to slap out on the bottom, but it'll still protect. Keep somebody from getting in, hitting, getting hit with that thing. <clears throat> if you're wondering, I do have the guard that goes down the side here. It's propped up a fair on against the fence, and that uh, chute extender is propped up right there beside it. But I'm missing some stuff on it, and I don't like the way it mounts uh, it don't swing up and you can't it's hard to get the stuff to grease so I just left it off the bell of uh, the chute extender just bolts the end of this thing and just extends on out Hell, another three or four foot and that's made so if I wanted to pull a trailer uh, I could use it to pull a trailer with unfortunately none of my trailers that I've got is really made to pull behind the baler so it don't work too good especially turning uh, end up hitting the ball and the tongue and everything on the trailer it just ain't really worth it this uh before somebody welded the middles up this piece right here will come off and allow you to have a half of one and it will drop the bales on edge if somebody decided they didn't want that and well, went ahead and welded up the middle, so now I can't use it like that either. Well, anyway, maybe we'll get a video of Wednesday of it in, in action. Hopefully it bails good. May have to do a little bit, uh, do some timing on these discs. They don't even look like it's in there good. That thing ain't supposed to move. I may end up having to redo that. The only thing I'm really worried about as far as timing issues is those discs right there. Well, guys, take care. And thank you for watching. If you got any questions, just ask. I'll try to answer them. And uh, y'all have a good one.